hold it right there. This video is not made for kids and annoying teens. So get the hell out of here, this channel is for adults collectors only. Hey guys, what's up? So we're back for another Transformers Times Return for you guys. And today what we're reviewing is a... Another Times Return figure. And the one I'm going to show you is this. I have here is Legend Class Autobot Stripes. Also, if you guys remember, why did I age all my... Why did I put age restriction to all the videos I did? If you guys remember, I made, a, I made a huge update for my channel that all the videos I've been working on for six years will now be age restricted. So that means this video is not made for, not made for kids and annoying teenagers. So what that means, this is for adult collectors only. So if you guys are the, are the age of 17 or younger, do me a favor, get out. And I'm dead serious. So yes. Because I'm sick and tired of you guys disrespecting me, calling, saying I suck, well guess what? Fuck you! So yes. So anyways, of course this video is not a sponsor, but a shout out, a shout out to, of course, the Retro Exchange, and thanks to them, they let me borrow their stuff to review. So anyways, in the Titans Return series, uh, for, for the Legend class, we have this, which is what, which is a uh, cell phone. And here the stripes in his cell phone mode. Looking over the cell phone mode, the painting sculpted the detail in this uh, in this figure looks good. Which I have one major issue. This whole piece right here that you guys looking at it is stickers. Why the actual hell to make stickers instead of printed? Right here is printed. Same thing with this side. Now, if you guys have a leader class Autobot Blaster and Soundwave, you can slide these in on the chest. Just, just you know, slide it in, and boom, there you go. Um, I haven't found a way to cover up the the, um, the feet right there. Both of the feet, yeah. <sighs> Here's the thing: it's Autobot Stripes and all the other cassette, um, um, Cybertronian like Rumble Frenzy. Um, who else? Stripes, and I forgot the rest of them. They are triple changers. Not only to transform into robot and to phone, they also have a vehicle mode, which I'll get on with this later. But just looking over the detail of this, you can see it have like signal bar, Wi Fi, the battery, search bar, taking a photo, message, you know, a message right here, um, email, and I think right here it's like file thing right there I don't know and the wallpaper that he have is like a you know it's like a tiger stripes looks on it it looks good but like I said what the actual fuck did you put stickers on it I hate stickers car scheme orange with gold with black pretty much that's it for stripes it's just not much of it so so like I said stripe is a triple changer so to transform stripe into his vehicle mode is easy First thing to do is come over here, and I think you want to flip this thing out first. Then you flip the nose cone of the vehicle mode. Then you, I think you have to flip this all the way back to cover this up right here. Um, I think next to do is open this up, will be the wings of the vehicle mode. Uh, what else? What else? I might need to go find the. I might need to go to the internet to find the instruction for it. Yeah, you know what? I might need to find the instruction. But the first thing that you have to do is flip the head out. And there you go. Bring the wings up like that, and the rest of it I forgot. So I'll be right back, you guys. I'll be right back. All right. So I made a mistake on one part. This right here will be the landing pad of the vehicle mode. So you want you want to have it down like that, and for this right here, you have to come to the back, and you want to make sure to unpeg it, which is very tricky to do that. But make sure to have this flat down. Bring this up like that, and I think you have to bring this down on the feed. There we go. 
I'm may not sure I have it right or I have it wrong. Well, here it is, stripes in his vehicle mode. Vehicle mode um, is questionable. I don't know. It is a jet boat, but a jet mode, but the hell kind of jet mode is this crap? All right, I understand why this is just an old figure. Well, what the actual hell that I'm even looking at this? And a and a freaking bus school bus just drive by and ugh. Yeah, I'm starting to questioning this vehicle mode so badly. Like, like, why did it? Why did it make it? Why did it exist? Why did it make? It, uh, I have no words for this goddamn thing. But just by looking over it. The paint and sculpt the detail in the vehicle mode looks great. Not only you can see the uh, cockpit over here, which is in uh, like it's almost look like a goldish yellowish color, which is pretty good. You can see two little pegs right there that you can plug in any Titan Master or Prime Master in here, which is pretty good. I like it a lot. Not much to say about the you know the vehicle mode. Always the one thing one major complaint about is a little bit of lack of paint. That pretty much I said that was my opinion. Um, for this, I don't know, I think you have the option to have it up like that, or have it down like that. I think you have to have it up like that. Like I said, I don't have the original instruction for it. I just look it up on YouTube. And, yeah. Yeah, there's nothing much to say about Stripes uh, Vehicle Mode. It looks stupid, it looks ridiculous, and that pretty much is Now we can get in Stripes, his beast mode. To do that, it's flipped his beast head out. Next is to flip this thing in. I think you need to have it out because it's going to be the tail. Like I said, I have no idea what the hell I'm doing. But you want to flip this thing. Flip his back leg like that. Make sure this is full of the leg uh, like that in this angle. Now scratch that. There's a peg right there. You have to peg this in. You do the same method on the other side. Flip this out. Bring his front legs forward. Have it in like this. Make sure to angle it. Perfectly. And there you have stripes in his beast mode. And I actually don't know what kind of his beast mode is. And for the tail, I have no idea. Oh, no, wait. Okay, this will be the tail. Never mind. I don't know what stripes, um, what do you, I, I think it's like a, like a, I know it's like a cat, duh, but a tiger or a cheetah look. I know, I know the tiger had this pattern like this, so I guess he looked, I think the uh, stripe is representing a tiger. Uh, it's because of the head scope is different, I, I don't know. But just by looking over the beast mode, the painting scope did a detail in this figure, looks good. But one of my major complaints about this is the phone cable, like this panel pieces right there, will get in the way for some articulation. Mostly like, like this, in and out. Well, it does go down like that, but that did the transformation, but I'll show you that later. Like I said, other the same issue is lack of paint as well. But looking over the head scope? Now that's pretty good, but I wish the eyes were painted more instead of, you know, this silver... And painted a little bit of more of this, uh, you know, a little bit of black and a little bit of this yellowish, goldish color right here. That's my opinion. Articulation-wise, his head can go up and down like that, but that due to the transformation. Arm is not a ball joint, so it does go 360 degrees, but... Yeah, because of the way it's designed, it can get in the way because of this curve right here on the side of the phone. On the side of the leg, on the body right here. His legs can go in and out. Bend at the knee right here, and the ankle can go up and down like that. Not much of it. Back legs can go forward, backwards. You have a bend of the knee right here, and it can go forward like that. Ankle is on a peg, so it does go in and out like that. Tail can go up and down like that, but that due to the transformation. So you don't get much possibility on this figure. It's just a poor brick of a cat. It's, uh, yeah, the figure is kind of a, it's very disappointing to me, and it's not giving me a good taste of I love it. Yeah, it kind of sucks. Sucks so much like my channel. 
all right, I'm gonna go pause the video, give him the final pose, and give you guys my final result if you guys want this figure or not. So I'll be right back. Overall, Stripes is a good fake, is a good time, times return figure, but to me, it's a pretty disappointing figure. Lack of paint, the articulation is limited, and the jaw doesn't open and close, so it's it it sucks so much for me. Now, if you guys want to see the last times return review, what I did, go right ahead and check it out. You guys already know the rules. So yeah, until next time, have fun, stay safe, and as always, I'm out, and don't let your kids watch this channel.